The following stream contains mature content and subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. And good evening, everyone. Welcome to McStaver Studios, Kansas City, a domain divided. Uh, I am the storyteller, Shanky McStaver. And as you can see, we got guests and I didn't fuck up and transition to the wrong one this time. Awesome. I am Mama McStaver and I'm playing Dr. Katarina Ricosi of Clan Zamitsi. I'm Dale and I'm playing Callum McFarlane of Clan Ventru. Bree and I'm playing Rashad Giovanni of the Hakata. You're next, Red. The guests introduce after you. Oh, yeah. Sorry. It confused me since she's right there. Uh, hi, I'm Mischievous Red, and I'm playing Gwen Schultz of the Ministry. And now I will let our two guests introduce themselves, starting with uh, Junie Von Esch, who's playing something down there. I'm Junie Von Esch, and I'm playing Athena, the Storm Ziggler, the uh, Philodox from Tribe Glasswalker. And hello, I'm Maddox, and I will be playing Vladimir Milosevic of the Shadow Lords. Last week, when we were with this group, this coterie, minus the two guests, of course, we started off with the coterie gathered at Cat's Haven out there on the edge of town, where their gathering was interrupted by... Well, first it was interrupted by some hostile individuals that are not quite human, not quite ghoul, not quite lupine. Something of a mix for those that might have some of the newer books. They are counterfeit werewolves. But there was also another visitor there, a morel. A morel that, it was obvious, is quite old, but had come because the land had spoken to her and told her that another dragon was present. Someone who the land recognizes. After that meeting, I'm trying to remember what all we did in the second half. My God, my memory has failed me. Anyone remember what we did the second half of that meeting? Oh, yes, they all gathered once again to meet with Cutter. They needed to get some information because there is a black site run by the Second Inquisition in the city, a black site that is problematic. And Cutter explained to them that there's a section of the underground that Nosferatu no longer go. They've posted signs saying don't go because their people disappear when they try. That might be a small problem. But as we gathered tonight, well, as we ended, uh, Bo had a startling revelation about the events of his family's house. But from that night on, Kat 
has not been responsive. It's been a week since anyone in this coterie has spoken to Kat. But at the end of this week, she has told the coterie to come meet her at her place again. Kind of shocked that she is active. That's a week spent communing with the land. So as we open up, the guests are not there yet, but the coterie has gathered. <clears throat> at Cat's Haven. Cat looks around. Where's Bo? Mr. Solomon is unresponsive. He encountered something when he visited his home that <laughs> was too much for him to deal with and is sleeping. Where did you put him again? He's at my haven. You have people watching him, yes. Of course. Good. There's security and my goal <clears throat> is also there. Good. Good. Okay. Okay. He awakens. He is going to most likely want to go after someone. X. was able to glimpse a brief vision of what he saw, and I'm not sure if we are dealing with a powerful somber or if the shadows were figurative. Mm. So now there's someone else other than Grant we have to worry about. We'll add it Most to the likely. list. <clears throat> okay. How are you? Oh, I'm good. I'm good. A hell of a week, but I'm good. Take it you are successful? Yes. The land accepted me. Was it worth it? Yes. What all can you do now? I am able to <laughs> monitor what happens in a radius around me, depending on how far I want to push it. <laughs> and I think it's just because of who and what I am. I'm able to pick up some things from people's blood. Do you have to like drink the blood to pick up things or? Nope. <laughs> Is that going to help you with your guest? Yep. It's on the agenda. Um, <clears throat> but tonight, I wanted, to let, I wanted you all here because I am expecting the, at least Vladimir, to show up tonight. Um, a little bird stopped by and told me he might be bringing a guest. A little bird that turns into a naked man. Yeah. Mm. Fucking shape changers. Are we, are, we are a wild bunch. Um <laughs> What all do we want to tell him that we know? Well, for one thing, the night that the gentlemen were here with me that I met my mentor for learning the old magic of my clan, um, there were two, she called them counterfeit werewolves that showed up on my property. I dispatched them. They are currently in my basement. I have a surgery that's in, being built there. I'm going to show them to the werewolves so they are aware of what's coming out this way. I assume we're also telling them about the black site. That was kind of one of the other reasons. That's definitely something I'd like to tell them about as well. 
Is there anything we want to make sure we don't tell them? Is there anything off the table? <clears throat> um, generally, too much of our business. I mean, yes, but anything that pertains to them, I mean, that directly impacts them. I do plan to tell them that I know for a fact now that the Sabbat are using a lupine to create monstrosities. So they obviously have one captured. I hope it incites them to go to war against the Sabbat. We'll have to pick Maybe a battle. Like do. all... Sorry, go ahead. Hopefully we can deal with the Inquisition first. Or we knock out two birds with one stone. mean maybe we really should come up with like a definitive plan of action to how to resolve this how it an official strategy compared to just everyone kind of doing their own thing i would love that i've been calling for that for months who all i guess what heads so to speak, would we want there? Don't know. Kat just sits back and drinks her wine. She's waiting for people to chip in. Ultimately, I think getting too obsessed with the war with the Sabbat is a mistake. We have been fighting each other for thousands of years now, hundreds. But the Inquisition is an actual threat to all of our existences. Regardless of Flesh. what we decide, whether it's the Inquisition or the Sabbat, everyone needs to make sure they're going for the same target or we'll fail. Everybody. Not even just amongst this group. Like... I honestly want to say that we just need representation from all factions. I hate to say it, including maybe even the Inquisition. We need to know people to really figure out what's going on. So Cameron, Johnny, us, obviously, Cutter. We don't have anyone from the Sabbat, though. They're... And I'm not saying we want to work with all Sabbat, but there's got to be someone who is less than satisfied. It's I'm just certain the, the Cam has spies within the Sabbat, just like the Sabbat has spies within the Cam. They've always Ooh, played I that game. We need to gather more information. For now, we should assume that some of our simpler abilities won't work. We need to see if the werewolves have noticed anything about their kind and begin to build a profile for what the Inquisition or the Sabbat knows about all of us. And then we need to find out a way to take out... We need to decide if we want to go after their leaders or take out the smaller targets on the ground. That assumes that we're all going the same way, though which we don't know. And no one's going to give us any information willingly if they don't know what we're going to do with it. Maybe this is an instance in which we bring in Hideo. I don't know why you think he's going to solve all our problems. All he does is create saying... them. But you can go ahead and do so if you want. I mean, do you have another method to guarantee no, that that's no one fine. You backstabs can... us? You can do it. To see what he gives you, because I don't think he'll give you shit. I'm not saying he gives us anything. I'm saying he brokers the deal between the factions to make sure, because if he doesn't, if, if anyone goes back on the back on the deal, he'll fuck him up. I'm not sure you can afford him. Listening for a better idea. I get it. I get it. I do. I've been listening for better ideas, too. 
Because if what I'm doing ain't good enough, I need to hear it. And I need to hear other options. But I'm not hearing shit. So, y'all do what you want. Pick a target. Pick a target. Put me at it. It's fine. What do you call what I'm trying to do now, Kat? Pontificating? <sighs> Whatever. I, I can't win with you. Cat, the ground quivers beneath your feet. Our guests are here. This is the spot of your power. This is the source of your land. This is your area. And Morales told you it's something odd about this particular plot of land as well. You should have to concentrate. You should have to focus to sense events on your property. But you don't. Not here. Uh Uh-uh. She suspects it might have to do with that ley line. Mm -hmm. But you know you have two guests that are not human that have entered, breached your property line. Mm -hmm. She goes to the door facing the direction they're coming from. (coughs) They're coming from the back. Okay. She opens the door and steps out and says, you are welcome. Thank you so much. Pleasure to meet you. Now, what comes up to the back door is two wolves that shift back to human form. Mm-hmm. One of them you recognize, one you don't. Vladimir, it's good to see you. And I will let, real quick, Athena, describe yourself so everyone knows what they're seeing. She's a six foot five, six, she's six foot with heels, uh, purple with black hair. She's dressed in a black suit, um, as you see here right now. She does have three faded scars across her neck, and she does speak with a, shall we say, dusky voice. Okay. Well, Katarina is about 5'6". She has dark brown hair. She has hazel eyes. She has a rather relaxed stance to her. She's very comfortable at her own home. And wearing a blazer, silk, black silk blouse, and some cropped black jeans. Please, please, come in. My associates are also inside. <clears throat> yeah, no reason, no reason not to approach. And as you walk in, It's a well-furnished, large, almost resembles like an Eastern European castle (laughs) home. (laughs) And inside you see two male vampires and a female vampire. Greetings. I hope your journey here wasn't too difficult. My name is Sean Giovanni. And uh, you would see a six foot four ish man, uh, black jeans, black t shirt, um, with a number of kind of rings on one finger with dark, kind of dark, not quite hazel, but dark brown eyes. When I'll gesture at Callum, Callum McFarland, good to see you again, Vladimir. And Hi. for the, oops, oh, sorry. You can go. No, no, red first. <laughs> go in, uh, and you see a short, long hair, red person who just looks very meek, uh, wearing very plain clothes. No jewelry. I'm sorry, okay. Callum, six foot six, dark hair with some gray shot through it, blue eyes, black suit, red tie. Vladimir, who is your associate? This would be Athena Ziegler. Pleasure, Miss Ziegler. Pleasure is all mine to meet you. I requested audience for a few matters that needed to be brought to your attention.
We have confirmation of a second Inquisition black site within the city. Rashad and Gwen were able to investigate it peripherally. Um, do we, is there, would there be a map nearby? I mean, you got a phone, house? you can pull um, up a Google map. Yeah, you could pull yeah. up a Google map, yeah. Okay. I'll pull up a map and give the approximate location. It's um, on the western edge of I town. Uh, for you, uh, Athena, it's not an, an area that has been called to your attention yet, not even uh, through your otherworldly means. Interesting. We didn't know about this. I will definitely have to pass this on. Thank you. Welcome. I believe that they have gained some sort of supernatural defenses. The method I used to find it was, let's say, unique. And they were able to capture it in a way that I did not know was possible. So if any of your people are able to look into it, I would recommend they be careful. The more our enemy knows, the more dangerous they become for all of us. Agreed. Uh, may I ask how you came about this information? I was looking into something unrelated, and... Let's say a friend of mine was sent to search, and they lost something to get away. And even then, they were very, very nearly caught and destroyed. Interesting. I will definitely take a look at this. Thank you. Also, about a week ago, I had trespassers here. And I thought it would be something you would want to see. I believe the Sabbat may have one of your kind and are doing things. Come. Uh, Vlad will exchange a quick look with Athena on that one. Yes, absolutely. And she leads you down to the basement where she opens up what seems like a very sterile room that's being prepped to be a surgery. And there are two bodies laid out. The bodies are obviously human. Though their hands are not human hands. Their hands are actually uh, claws that are they remind you of your crinosworm claws, but not quite as well muscled, not quite as well developed. But it is obvious that it's an approximation. And you can see their cause of death is very large rents in their body. They were eviscerated. Now, the smell, uh, you all, you're werewolves, you have sensitive smell, I guess. Uh, the blood here, uh, the dried blood, you can smell the worm's corruption on it. But you can also smell the touch of lupine. Much like Vladimir, you smelt that once before. With the creature you fought and easily dispatched. This is unlike things that we have seen in the city proper. Athena will gently move to pick up the hand to examine it as she senses worm and does get the worm smell and then looks at it. This isn't one of ours, is it? I don't believe it. It's undefined. And she will quick, you know, she'll do a quick change, uh, mix Morphus, and actually bring out the warlike Krinos arm, our hand, and she will actually show Katrina what it should look like. I've seen it before, and she looks at Vladimir. 
Yes, my cousin seems to have certain gifts I have as well. And Vlad will turn and look generally at all the vampires, but eyes landing on Kat. And you said that you and yours were the ones to defeat these? I was. Hmm. Still only a nuisance in terms of strength, but they're... They were disorganized. Chaotic. They seemed mad, really. Um, and I don't mean emotionally angry, I mean insane. Um, Mm. but Uh, they were not significant as far as strength, no. As as you're talking, Vlad's running his fingers through the like claw marks, testing to see if it feels like regular flesh or if it feels different or weird, just small things. He's not Human the most flesh. proficient in medicine. But... Though you can see where it had started to knit itself a little bit before <laughs> they were killed. I uh, it didn't seem like it would have regened as fast as maybe you would have, but it still had started a very slow regeneration before. It expired and stopped. But you see no evidence of silver either. Whoever's doing this, this is disturbing. And watered down. Exactly. It's almost as if a kin used one of their gifts to try and be one of us. Storyteller. Yes. That thing that you told me uh, as the information I would have, Mm -hmm. do we have a generalized location of where? I mean, they used to roam the western edge of town or the city. That you are currently in that general direction. But we are outside of the city here. Yeah. Well outside. Well, that (laughs) relates also to what he was told. Yeah. When would did your, you? Would your people join our enemies? Your enemies? <laughs> your enemies are ours. Clearly, you do not know much about us. Your kin, I'd say, Sabat are definitely agents of the worm we destroy on sight. The SI, of course, is a predator of us all. Why would we want to go with them? I've been born into this fight. This is nothing new. My question is, is what price will you pay for us to assist you? Well, let us go somewhere more comfortable. Come. I will step outside for a moment. Okay. As you step outside, what do you do? I am going to find a nice clean patch of soil and start setting up a ritual. Okay. (laughs) I'm going to be summoning some spirits to do a check of that black site. Okay. Specifically, I'll be summoning storm crows, okay. which is a common shadow Lord spirit to summon to go and check that area. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Okay. They're the servants of our tribe totem. So they're supposedly supposed to be somewhat cooperative as long as I can keep a handle on them, but they're not very powerful. They're the, the lesser spirits, right? Mm, they're servants, but they're still spirits all the same. Yeah, oh, I know that part. Okay. <clears throat> so how long does that take you to do? Uh, a fair bit. I'd say at minimum, probably five minutes. Okay. So step back into the scene when you're ready.
I have already made a deal with Vladimir. What sort of deal are you wanting to make? Well, of course, I'm speaking for my pack, as I'm the highest ranking one. We'd be willing to help, both monetarily and possibly with information. Depends on what you all want and need and what you're willing for. Well, I asked Vladimir to connect me with one of his people. That could possibly provide information on Sabat Holdings. Yes, I think we did something like that for you guys. I believe some of those holdings are, shall we say, gone. <laughs> we would also like some targets. So. <sighs> what is valuable to you? Information. She looks at the group. Let's, let's just say the internet's a little glitchy. <laughs> what would you like to know? Well, I would say anything and everything, but then again, I know tit for tat. So I'll start with a little tat for tit. Do you all know or have you heard of, uh, believe, a code name, Julie Mordson? Or Morton? No. She was uh, removed from the local private investigation computer. Let's just say she was found dead by suicide, and I would use quotes with that. Hmm. Do you know where she lived? Do you know where she yeah. lived? I don't, unfortunately. It was the only fragment I got before the uh, uh, website and computer were wiped clean. I have a very, shall we say, powerful gift with computers and technology. And for that to be wiped out before I can get to it, I can assure you, they're already in it. It's sadly depressing. I like information. Interesting. If anyone here is a classic movie fan, I do mean classic, uh, you can try to do an intelligence uh, academics role, I think would be one. I feel like Gwen probably would be. See if you could pull it off, intelligence mm -hmm. academics. It's a tough one. I'm going to guess research doesn't apply. No, that wouldn't be research. So later, uh, well, if you fail it, you can always use your uh, investigation role to try to figure it out. I will surge as well. All right. Hold on. Something happened. Let's search intelligence academics so maybe that is right mm, just dragged it hit the die no it's not right i need two more oh look at the pretty color oh four right off you got a willpower uh, yeah might as well four is a good roll though Oh, she's uh, I'm making I'm gonna, sure it mathed right. I'm going to okay. point out for the player, for the viewers, uh, don't change the difficulty based on how many dice they rolled. The difficulty should be what it is, no matter how many dice they have. A five. I'm going to send you a quick message. Cool. That's probably for the best because Gwen's not really in a sharing mood right now. I'll tell you this, at least that we know that we could tag your cousin's sites for a bit. Once we eliminated them, unfortunately, they've gone cold. The lack of technology they're using now is disturbing. Yeah. 
That makes sense. They've got a new Templar in town. That is... Um, above the bishops that generally send the orders to the field troops, um, hmm. works for archbishops that run a whole area. Um, huh. yeah. It's like a lieutenant or a colonel. Kind of, yeah. Um, hmm. but think more like the church. That's the spot. <laughs> um, Fair. and he's kind of old school. Define old school, please. Um, New York, late 90s. Oh, how delightful. He's going for carnage, pretty much. Mm. He's my brother. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so Truly. am I, to be fair. Let me guess, a lot of bad blood. <laughs> you wouldn't. Yeah, that's that's putting it mildly. Um, but I have that way with the BSD. <laughs> are those the yeah, those are the ones. Rashad, you asked if there's ever work with the Sabbat, and yes, there are some werewolves that I, I know you may not claim them. I I understand. Just like I don't Of course not. I just like I don't claim my brother. Um Fair. but There are black spiral dancers. They are, I guess, fallen werewolves that will yes. sometimes ally with the Sabbat. But it is a matter yes. of convenience for both parties. Of course. Everything's a matter of convenience. Yes. What you can do for us and what we can do for you and what we can do for each other. Vlad will walk back in at this point. There are claw marks running down his face and covering his palms. I will tell you when one of your spirits return. And he doesn't seem all that plussed about it. Mm -hmm. Tina does say, no, oh, it's another Saturday. Are there any of these fallen werewolves in the city we should be worried about? Yeah. <sighs> Uh, is that where the topic's gone? Oh, I just mentioned the BSD. I mean, how else do you get wonderful marks on your neck for telling the truth? Hmm. There is a likelihood that they are within the city. You will find them sometimes used as muscle for various Pentex corporations. They could be some random homeless you meet on the street who decide that you're interesting. Never a good sign if they take interest in anything like you. Very true. Is there a way to identify them? Most of them appear ill. Insane. I'm going to use Sense the Beast. I want to, okay. sen I want to sense out these werewolves, see what they read to me. Okay. Go ahead and you're going to roll. Uh, let me pull up your care, the powers. I guess you got to double check the roll on it because I don't remember off the top of my head for Sense of the Beast. Since our guests don't have character sheets for that, you roll Resolve on Animalism. I will be rolling for them. Though I will say, uh, Sense the Beast on Werewolves is pretty easy to pull off because, well, um, you are the beast. We're at least a third beast. Yeah. <laughs> so go ahead and roll your resolve animalism. We'll see what we get. I mean, we tried Five to is nice. to fight wolves. I don't know if she's planning to, to willpower on five nope. or let it stand. I'm going to let it stand. Uh, definitely. Um, they're both lupine. Uh, they have their own beast that's not like yours, but it's plain. Uh, is there any hostility? from either of you towards anyone in this group right now? No. No. Okay, so you don't pick up any hostility of all from them. Interesting. Pray tell. She looks at Rashad and says, I think between the two of us, we would be able to suss it out. 
Neat. Um, sorry, Teller. Could I, could I premonition Black Spiral dancers to see if I can learn anything? Of course you can. <laughs> of course. Wow. Okay. I won't do it. It's fun. It's fun. It's fine. Yeah, I know yeah. nothing. I know Here nothing. Here we go. And then nothing. <laughs> Holy this is where shit. the fun begins. No, nothing. Of all the topics, this is the way to that. madness. I'm just saying. Yeah, It'll nothing. be fine. <laughs> don't assume the worst. I know nothing. Yeah, yeah don't assume the worst. Worker. Assume the wormst. <laughs> wormst. Oh, With five. God. Oh, wow. Well, I have to. Hold on. I have to reroll. I have to. <laughs> I, I'm, I, am, I am Icarus. I am flying close to the sun. Yes, you are. Five. Yes. <laughs> As your vision pulls out into the city, sweeps, and you pull back, you're looking down on a city. You see the green tent of one part of town. It's a diseased look, twisted look. But you know what you're looking at is the past. To go, it's a while ago. And then a red mist begins to subsume the green. And as you reach a time you know is now, there is a red mist over the entire city. But the green of corruption is gone. What is show faith? I will share one of my a bit of information, and Abishad will exit, will describe what he saw. Not sure if that will mean anything to you all, but if it helps you, I suppose it would be helping us as well. Do you know anything? <laughs> We see red on this side in the city. It's what drives you to anger when you cross over. That seems to track in a very uncomfortable way. Only Vladimir heard that voice because you all don't hear his spirit. So, yes, Miss Ziegler, we can provide information to an extent. That will be beneficial to you and your kind, as we have done this evening. That's fair enough. I don't expect family secrets. (laughs) Working information is always beneficial to all of us. Yes. Um... We did recently hit two bars in the Sabbat territory. First, we got their liquor licenses pulled to shut them down. Nice. Yes. And then we raided them, used their tactics against them. I pulls in government as well, if there's anything you need that would, shall we say, cause a snag. Some red tape in the way. I'd be more than happy to assist on that. Mrs. Sarah can run far and deep. And some of them are good protection. They know how to fight. Plus, when you sleep, just remember we can be up roaming about if you have any information we can get during the day I would be happy to drive about I love taking my meetings on zoom with my mobile I'll be fine the only thing is is with the internet going shall we say glitchy information is hard to find so we have to do it shall we say old school 
I don't mind looking through some paperwork. If you or your people find yourselves needing help with legal issues, you may visit my law firm. And I shall pass out a business card. I imagine there are things that you all would rather not appear to be involved in. I don't mind bearing some of the dirt, so to speak. That's much appreciated, and I would definitely enjoy that. She would exchange her card with you as well. Let's just say I'm good at marketing. I like money. Question for you, Vladimir, real quick. Mm, Would anyone else see these returning spirits? I don't know if Athena would see them, but would anyone else? She would. She probably couldn't communicate with them like I can, because I I have spirit speech, so I can speak directly to them in their own language, as it were. Who else here has uh, Since the Unseen? I know uh, good old Rashad has it. I think he's the only one with it, right? Oh, shit. Nice roll. Got a crit six on a passive Since the Unseen roll, Rashad. Should let me roll passive more often, huh? Uh, only one spirit returns, oh, Vladimir. It's of fire. Is I dimmed. Send? It is barely held, holding together tells you the other five were taken captured locked into a device of some kind it fought and managed to get free because it was on the edge of whatever captured the rest oh sorry teller i'm sorry to have to say this but you're saying that I was just told that a spirit was caged? Yes. Or spirits were caged? Yes. Unfortunately, I have to test for frenzy on that information. Okay. Yes, you do. I guess I will roll for you, what, right? What is the current moon phase of tonight's storyteller? I don't know. What is the current world moon? Let's find out. It's a new that, moon. That will influence things depending on what it is. The new moon tonight? It's close, yeah. Mm. New moon. So, let me give you a roll and let's see. I'm not out of the clear, but... Do you want my willpower by chance? What is your willpower? Willpower is... Eight. Oh, I was close. I put seven in starting off. Ooh, nice roll, though. Five with a crit. All right. You keep your shit together. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and really, the only one who would notice that there was like a wince would be Athena. What I have Do noticed I an uptick hear... with my sense the beast going. Probably a flash of anger not directed at you. Mm. It's more like it was Did just I... directed out in yeah. every direction. <laughs> Is something wrong, Vladimir? Did I hear what the spirit said or did I just see it? Nope, you just saw it. You, you saw uh, an odd, slightly larger example of a crow that almost looked like it was a storm cloud, but you're not sure how exactly that makes sense. And it was indistinct. They tend to flicker. I looked into the black site you mentioned. I sent six spirits to investigate one returned said the rest were confined are you okay i will be very well and you'll also notice uh that he shifts his face and his hands into something slightly furrier and starts healing the damage to his body That matches what I, with mine, encountered. They will study them. They will get nothing. What did you send? Storm crows. They're resilient. Shit. Six of them. When they have five. Just. 
I think that black site may need to burn down. Don't you agree? Right. Athena, Oh, the hidden info that I told you, uh, if you're suspecting that might be linked to this, I guess you do get to share it after all. Wait, which part? You sent me so the many. The part I sent you about don't tell the players about what's actually happening. Oh. If you think you would suspect that, go ahead. Like I said, I did not expect Vladimir to send spirits tonight. He has broken my storyline and accelerated it a bit. I love that. Uh, give me a give me a number between one and ten, storyteller. I don't know. I mean, you you're the character. You decide your number. Okay, fair enough. Because you know what's been happening to you in the city. I do. Miss Cat, may I possibly have a glass of wine for a moment? Absolutely. I will go get one for her. Thank okay. you. When Cat's out of the room. Uh, Gwen is going to say to Athena, uh, you mentioned going old school before. I think that you might find the characters in the movie Jezebel particularly interesting. Oh, you know that movie. Mm-hmm. I was going to say my mother was a cinephile. She loved all movies. Well, then when she mentions that, you realize that code name? is Betty Davis's character's name in that movie. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'd have looked that up. And Kat, you come back with wine. Mm-hmm. And she asked, Vladimir, would you like a glass? No, thank you. She pours for Athena. She'll take it and take a, a very large sip. Well, then I can tell you this. The reason why we have the glitches in the internet. What do you know about... (sighs) Not so nice mages? Personally, nothing. Wonderful. Well then, I guess we're going to have a moment to chat about. A word I don't like to use very often that starts with a T. May as well rip the band-aid off. Very well. They're known as the technocracy. Do you think they are just intentionally trying to fuck with your shit, or do you think they're working with the Second Inquisition? They fuck with everyone. I would assume both to be correct. That's fair. They have... annoying reach. Hmm. Look, I like to be a little nuisance on the internet as everyone else. I like to cause a little bit of chaos. Hack some sites, make money, transfer money. You know, be a little bit of a Robin Hood when I can. I would never fuck with a technocracy. They can do things far beyond anyone's imagination. And somehow travel to realms that we thought off limits to humans, even mages. Hmm. Correct. Yeah, that's a problem above our pay grade. Agreed. Unfortunately, their pay grade is screwing with mine. Yeah. I think it's mine, too. I also work in tech. Fabulous. Love to talk. Storyteller, have... have have, Has Rashad ever heard anything about them from the family? Any of its enterprises? Hmm. I mean, your family has a lot of criminal fucking shit going on. Yes, they do. Uh, <laughs> We're very good at the, the criminal stuff. Uh, well, I'm sure you've, your family has had dealings with them. Uh, not positive. Um, technocracy is good at, well, I mean, Giovanni gets in their way. Uh, the bank accounts disappear, <laughs> among other things. 
So you would know that they are not to be trifled with on the tech side. And they're still mages. Thought they primarily dealt with technology and bank accounts. Some of my friends don't have great memories with them. Are they involved here? Pretty much, yes. Why? Why? That's an excellent question. My initial assumption has always been control. They seem very regimented as an organization. As far as mages go, they don't, I don't think, believe in, shall we say, the true essence of their power. How long have they been active here? From my account, I think it's only about two months, maybe three. Could it be a new mage that's brought them? I couldn't tell you. I don't know. I can tell you one thing. The Sabbat would not work with them. Nobody wants to work with them. Maybe the SI only just to gain control. Absolutely. But the SI are fools to do so. (laughs) SI are fools no matter what they do. I will give you some information on the SI that we have. Perfect. The one running it in this city is a very cunning and maniacal Thin blood. He's a vampire of very low potency. He can walk in daylight. Hmm. That's disturbing. He has them all fooled, thinking that he's human. With special hunter abilities. Great. He Is has concocted any... drugs of some kind that affect vampires. That's why I think he's a thin blood. Thin bloods can do that. Gingock potions? Of a sort. Based on blood. Vitae. Uh, Our vampire blood. Something weaker than you has abilities that you don't possess. Yes, God. but they don't have abilities that we possess. Not necessarily stronger, just different. Yeah, exactly. So a, so a diet vampire. Yeah, diet vampire. That's a great way of putting it. But not to say it's not Thank a you. threat. I'm not taking it as such. Diet is pretty oh. much poisonous, too. Yeah. He makes the comparison to pyrite, fool's gold, but vampirite, I believe he said. <laughs> funny, funny. That's a good one. I like that. I'll have to use that one. Um, but, yeah. Yeah. Um, So, he would probably think that he could outsmart them. He seems the type. No, I'm sure his pride is something that we can gently chip away at. Seems to be, shall we say, a bane of many existence. So. Have a name. Goes by Grant Solomon. Do we recognize that name, Storyteller? Nope. You haven't heard that name before. You only met Bo. You didn't get his last name. Technocracy is involved. They must be the ones providing the technology to do what they've been doing. So we have to find out why. I'm not sure... We would survive a fight with them. I wouldn't even try. Technocracy, you'd lose. The only thing that seems to want to fight the technocracy are non-technocracy mages. If you can communicate with one to see if they can get on your side, more power to you. 
They're eccentric lunatics and not something that I feel most should associate with. There but was desperate times. a premonition that someone in our group had. They spoke about three, lots of threes. I wonder if there's a third group working with the SI, the SI, the technocrats, and then something else that would make sense as to why they're as strong as they are. Would be the church. I feel like that's part of the SI, though, in a way. Not they're anymore. Kind... They're different factions now. Oh, you're decided. referring to the Leopold yes. something? I don't remember. <sighs> Society of, Leopold. Society of That's Leopold. That's the one. Yeah. They are a different faction. The church inquisitors are a different faction from the agents in the federal government now. <laughs> the federal government is not as capable as it could be. Not yet. But with, with someone like Grant running it, they will be at a rapid pace. So we cut off the head. Exactly. Understood. Vl Vlad will also turn and look at Athena. I believe there are a few striders who would be very interested in this particular mission. Indeed. I believe okay. I can convince my sept. Can you convince yours? I'm the alpha of my sept. I already have decided. Of course, Rhea. We're silver sap, so we our sap will pack. We can handle that, no problem. We can do backup and support, and we have a couple that we can lead. Katarina. Yes. How many nights ago did you say this attack happened to you? Seven. Storyteller, does that line up with the uh, the thing? Uh, off by about a day. It had, mm. that's a day after yours disappeared, so it lines up good enough. Vlad's going to share another look with Athena and just give what is clearly communicated as a shrug of, oh, what the fuck? A pack has gone missing. They were new. We often refer to what they were as Cleoths. Full members of our society, but still students all the same. Untested half proven I understand they went missing in the vicinity west coming out from the city which does include this area mm -hmm. I'm not sure where but I have a suspicion that they disappeared during that attack if not a little before after that I'm going to guess that potentially they noticed that look. Um, Gwen's going to start keeping an ear out for just kind of like an inclination of inclination of any things that they're not, they're leaving out. Okay. Any important Vla details? Vladimir, you in a previous, our previous meeting, you had mentioned Pentex? Is this something they would get involved in? Working with the SI and Oh, if it's if it's a disconnected sort of thing such as funding, absolutely. You may not even know that it's Pentex. They have many, many subsidiaries. Mm -hmm. And Much the subsidiaries no, go ahead, you go for it. And the subsidiaries that they do own have subsidiaries. So you're never truly certain until you trace a trail. Mm -hmm. Although it is impossible to say that someone is never working with Pentex, they have a global influence. 
Are they the type to have their hands in all pies, though? As many as furthers their goals personally. Absolutely. The the twisted ones that she and he gestures to Athena mentioned, the BSD, are often employed by Pentex. And yes, Pentex employs them knowing exactly what they are. They encourage it. They are corrupted, they, yes. They have deep pockets. And those that aren't corrupted are born corrupted. Understood. I would recommend your kind avoid those sorts of energies. I don't know what it would do to you, as you all tend to have the same corruption, not in similar waves, but it's noticeable all the same. Mm. You all are unnatural, stuck exactly where you died. Okay, but let's be real. Are y'all actually natural? Yes. Natural is the human state. Yes. (laughs) Mm. Many of us are born in the human state. <laughs> we are a third natural, as we are a third spiritual, as we are a third We bestial. will have to agree to disagree, but it is fine. <laughs> Let's just say... I believe you um, are super natural. Guy has blessed us with plenty of gifts. I'm sure she has. <laughs> Speaking of gifts, my tribe, which is Glasswalker, let's just say... We like to have deep pockets, too. I've noticed from the money trails of your Sabbat cousins, money has been going into the Union Pacific Yard. However, it is not left. Really? The real yard. For you that are aware, you know the war. The industrial area that has been being fought over is the the Union Pacific Yard is right there where the industrial area has been heavily contested. And Kat's eyes literally like light up because she has spent nights out there with Bella fighting that front. As far as Bella knew, there was no specific reason why they were trying to take that area over. And she just looks at Athena with her eyes kind of bright and says, thank you for that. I can get into those servers very easily. They're not on the Kansas City side, therefore not affected. Hmm. So only the Kansas City side is affected by the technocrats. Correct. Let's just say I I will, I am being, shall we say, giving you a gesture of good faith. I do not have my cell phone on me for a reason. Mm -hmm. Let's just say one of my gifts is that I can hack into anything and download those information into my personal thing. So I have everything already in effect. Hmm. Appreciate the kind gesture, truly. Naturally. I'm a philodox, of course. (laughs) Truth is how we deal with things. I'm just a bad liar myself, but... I think you and I would get along great, Athena. And, like, uh, Gwen hands her business card, too. Gwen will return the uh, favor and give her her hers. As a personal favor to sweeten the pot a bit for you and your sept, I will offer you the same boon that I have offered to Vladimir and his sept. If you ever need discreet medical care for any of your kin, I can arrange that. Appreciate that. If you have, I will do this. I am actually a renowned surgeon. Hmm. We can always use more of those. If you need any of your associates, um, shall we say, guarded, or if you need, shall we say, runners or spies, we're good at that. I have kinfolk at my discretion that, shall we say, can hear things, do things, and if there is ever a day attack, fight. They have many talents. Some can be runners, some can be servers, some can be secretaries. We employ, shall we say, a vast pool of employees that have many talents. Surely we should start an intern firm. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, you haven't? Not for kin. 
Uh, while you're late. Why waste the res- why waste the resources when humans do just fine? Because sometimes humans can't call gifts to stop a person in the tracks in the middle of the day. Oh, well, then I just lose the human. That's not that big of a loss. Oh, the human part of this again. Why? I like to make sure our kin are ready for anything. Yes, why? but our kin aren't human. True. But why baby them when we can get them ready for war and battle? And they can also turn around and, shall we say, make us some money on the side. Repairs on that, we agree. Cheap. The reason why I'm in marketing, dear. Mr. McFarlane. Yes, sir. You at one point said that you had property that we could potentially utilize. What Absolutely. is it? Where would that be? Just, uh, to the west of town. Are you familiar with uh, a, a quite a bit north of Cat's property? Uh, are you familiar with Sour Castle? Vaguely. I purchased that when we arrived and have had the groundskeepers prepare some areas that may be useful to you. But if you ever just need a place of respite, of course, you're welcome. On the full moon, could you have it vacated of mortal eyes? Of course. <laughs> Whatever my, pack, my pack and I will be utilizing the space. Of course. If they saw it, would they even remember, though? Depending. Some of the very strong-willed are a rather unfortunate pain in the ass. Hence his, shall we say, dislike with humans remembering things. I'll pull out a card and give it to you with my contact info. And he will exchange a business card and then simultaneously pass one out to everyone except Athena, uh, where it says Wide Horizon Country Club. That is my business. I only ask that you not kill anyone in there. It is a absolute bureaucratic nightmare to hide such things. Uh, the paperwork is That's toward. just being bad guess. This is true. Or if you must, at least let it be self-defense. Great parties there, though. I'll even say that if you are discreet enough, you are allowed to feed there. <laughs> Just not on the staff. I pay good money for them. Staff are very important to look after. They are indeed. But you can consider it for all intents and purposes for your kind an Elysium that only you all know about. Mm -hmm. I can't promise that it will be a fortress, but a meeting spot where there is no threat at least from normal sources for you. <laughs> I promise oh, no sabot get in. Mm. That's just target practice. Although I should also warn, it is not on the Camarilla's side of the city. You would have to travel. Not far. Perfect. I'm thinking we could maybe escort them once in a while there. I'm sure they could use the connections. Sounds like the Inquisition is something we can't deal with for now. I believe a tactic of mitigation for them. Do we want to allying to push them back or to at least keep them where they are or should we (laughs) continue to ignore them i wouldn't say ignore but i would say at least put a pin in it yes our people are disappearing as well as others however they are not actively killing like some other people are. 
Storyteller, is the Umbra still meh, in the city? Oh, up? fuck yeah. That's the uh, right. Every time you go into the Umbra, uh, you are consumed with rage, which is pretty much what the spirit told you at, in an earlier conversation. But here, it might uh-huh. be a little better. Here, uh, again, the Umbra here is fine. It actually ends before her property line. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I uh cat in the current place that we are in is there any reflective surfaces yes there is a mirror above the fireplace uh vlad glances on it and flickers into nothing okay. and he's stepping into the umbra to double check some shit storyteller <laughs> uh while so you're you in the watch umbra. him just from the feet up and gone you see the link to katarina her and the land here are bound are one the land is her, and she is the land here. Any chance I could try and not like pluck it, not fuck with it, but more just like touch the connection? You can see if it's, it, it feels solid, like the land's accepted her. It's yes. not mm-hmm. bound or anything no, like that. No, the land well, accepted it's her. It's not accepted enslaved. Her. No. You don't know if it means she's enslaved to the land? That would be another whole question. But they are I, together I as things. ones. But the the Umbra's representation is still pretty wild, and there's nothing funky not going here. on. I'm not feeling no. rage or anything. No, this place doesn't have any of that peaceful here. Yeah. And then, uh, in the same flicker, almost as if stepping from the mirror, Vlad comes back. Yeah. The Umbra is still tumultuous towards the city, but out here it seems surprisingly benign. And he'll turn and look at Cat with a with a very honestly naked expression of "I'll be damned." What? I have run into a myth. Pray tell. My tribe's origins come from Transylvania, the Balkans, a good portion of that side of the world. And one of the many stories that came out of such were the Koldun shamans. At least that was how I had heard them referred to. I am still a novice, but I am learning. They were always strange. I look forward to our further interactions, Miss Ricosi. <laughs> Mr. Melosevic, so do I. Is Vladimir and Athena leaving now? I'll actually turn and look at Athena just to make sure if there's anything else that we feel we need to do here. Cat does give a card to both of them. It's to her office. It's located at the hospital. If you ever need my services, leave a message there. I'll get it. Of course. And she'll return to that kind with a card. Do you have ways? To, Go on. Do you have ways to assist with medical issues that are not surgery based? I can craft flesh, bone, sinew, intestine, as if it were clay. Mm. I believe so long as there's painkillers, that shouldn't be a problem for them. <laughs> I'm going to be sending you someone in roughly two weeks. I believe. Just help them out as best you can. I also have access to medical grade medications to help with the pain. Excellent. Am I allowed to give my blood to help with healing? Not for this. Understood. I will not. 
Our body is not exactly one that accepts such things, but I understand. Appreciate that I, it. I would ask. I would not intentionally ghoul someone. That is not what I do with it. No, that's understandable. But Again, the Vaite can it. help with humans healing. I believe when you see the patient, you will understand why I forbid such things. Understood. They will be safe and tended to. Thank you. If I may ask you two a question, what do you know about the world of the truly dead? <sighs> I think less, it just looks straight to Vladimir. <laughs> less than I would like and more than I should. But I am not someone who would be the expert. Unfortunately, the ones that are would not speak to you. They hate vampires. What I do understand of it from what I have been educated in through that tribe is that... The lands of the dead, the shadow lands, as I remember them called, are a miserable hell. And spirits, more often than not, are human. Because it shows their attachment to the world. I think that's rather pathetic. And so I have not delved much further. Why would I mess with something that's being tortured by something that isn't me? I have no stake in the dead as they have no stake in me. The spirits that I deal with are representative. You would look to traditions of animism for the closest comparison. Everything has a spirit, and he'll gesture just around a tree, the air, sound, confusion. Everything can have a spirit. It's all just a matter of finding the representation. Thank you. So as far as this, the second inquisition is concerned, we're just going to continue gathering intelligence. And I suppose run some damage control to see that if it gets out of hand, we are at least aware of it happening. Basically, the Sabbat is a target we can reasonably neutralize quickly by combining forces. At that, Gwen looks at Kat. It's like, okay. Uh, but Gwen will say, we might want to limit the actual investigation of the SI then if they're gaining knowledge of us every time we do. They're just getting stronger. I wish we had some ins in the Second Inquisition. They're annoyingly hard to infiltrate. Indeed. It's like they knew we were coming before... They We've even decided. We may need to recruit some actual humans for that. Oh no, playing with the humans. I don't know, whatever are you suggesting? Please. Unsavory actions must be taken in the name of Gaia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the more Vlad talks about humans, the, the more you will realize he is not happy about humans. The two of you humans. are almost <laughs> polar opposites. This is hilarious. <laughs> not polar. We're actually right next to each other, technically. <laughs> and Vl Vlad will look up, although we're indoors at the moment, uh -huh, aren't we? Uh -huh. yeah, there are high ceilings in here, though. <laughs> Vlad will look up, and somehow you are all somehow very certain that he's looking directly at the moon where it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> Look, just because you happen to be more full of the moon than I am doesn't mean that I don't understand the potential of what humans can provide. No, yours, you and yours tend to utilize humanity the most and the most efficiently. Of course, how else do you find out the truth and balance the scales? I do not wish to be a cattle herder, so that is all for you. 
Well, <sighs> if there is nothing else, thank you both. I will dispose of the corpses. Um, Much appreciated. If you all will step out, I can simply set them alight if that would be quicker. You may do so. And I'll just... uh, And it's down in the basement, so we'll be fine. There uh, is a fire suppression system in this building. (laughs) Vlad just turns and looks and says, the pack will spend three nights in a row gathered around the fire telling stories. I believe they should be alight any moment. That's a good deal. I will clean up their ashes. The smell of the burned flesh does waft up from the basement, though. Mm -hmm. And somehow the fire also smells like community. You're not sure how you can tell, but (laughs) it smells vaguely communal. (laughs) (laughs) Smells like roasted marshmallows at a campfire. Yeah. (laughs) And bacon. And bacon. (laughs) Because, you know, humans smell like pork. (laughs) Potatoes wrapped in (laughs) tinfoil. So please allow me to see you both out. The offer's there if you guys need it. I will align my pack with yours with information as we get it. Thank you. And we will also try to provide what we can to you. Much appreciated. Vlad will also lazily point to the cow skull. Is that still a significant way to communicate, or would you like something different? If you prefer I use this, fine. I find it easy. That's fine. And it seems to entertain the crow man. The crow man? <laughs> yes, the, the, crow, the crow that turns into a naked man. Every opportunity he gets. <laughs> there is one... No dedicated clothing. There is one currently assisting my set. <laughs> he is hilarious. I'll give him that. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like trying to see a buff man anytime he transforms. I am a doctor. I have seen more private parts than prostitutes. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I feel- come to our side. It's happened all the time with our dedicated clothing. I feel sometimes even the ones with the dedication take their clothes off specifically for it. For the shock value? I didn't. Maybe I should do it next time. Is that a hint, Vladimir? <laughs> That's entirely your choice, Rhea. (laughs) Thank you. Well, all the same, once again, this meeting did not make me wish to stab blades into my eyes. So I am always looking forward to the next one to be the same. Excellent. It was a pleasure to meet you all. Pleasure is ours. Absolutely, it was. Be safe in your travels. Have a good night. You as well. Vlad will turn, whisper something to Athena, and then shift down into a black wolf. Athena will just shake her head, shift into a brown red wolf with purple lining her fur. And follow. And as you all set off, I think right here will be a great spot to go to break. So uh, we're going to go to break right here. We will see everybody in about 10 minutes, 35 seconds, because that's the songs. Welcome back, everybody. Before the break, we had some guest players here, some Lupine, and holy shit was some good info fucking revealed. Like, one of the guest players broke my story, and now this whole group knows the technocracy is involved with the Second Inquisition in the town. Uh, Oops. And now Cad also has found out with the rest of the group, uh, the Sabbat has been pouring money into the Union Pacific Rail Yard, Mm -hmm. uh, the Neff Rail Yard there in in Kansas City, which is located in an area town that they've been contesting the Camarilla for. Actually, it's been going on a month or two. Mm -hmm. But with the departure of the Lupine, uh, the Coterie is still gathered at Cat's place, and we're going to start up. The lupine are gone. You're now free to talk without other listeners. And Kat, I will tell you, the land has told you your property is cleared. Mm -hmm. There's nobody on your property at the moment. Other than some insects that are normal. That is really nice that Kat has that little perk because um, otherwise it would take like 
for fucking aggravated damage for her to scan her property. <laughs> uh, can Gwen look around just to make sure that Athena didn't leave anything tech behind uh, uh, to listen? Yeah, wits awareness or wits investigation. You can use either one. I think Cat uh, would know, though. I don't know because it's, it's just living The things. land might not tell you because it doesn't know what tech is. Um, on. Wait, you said what again? Sorry. It'd be wits awareness or wits investigation. Either one. Uh, I'll do awareness because I have concealed objects. Um, wits. Awareness. Sure, I'll search. All right. It, it started not including my blood surge. It included it previously, so I'm doing math. Oh, I didn't add my plus one. Yeah, just well, I mean, you got eight already. <laughs> Go an extra die. Let me see what that extra die was. There no. you go, eight. You don't, doesn't look like anywhere she was, there was nothing left behind. Okay. Thank you. Cat looks at Gwen and says, thank and, you for checking. And with an eight, you're pretty sure you would have found something. Eight with a crit. Yeah. Didn't know I could do that with spirits. <sighs> I'm not sure it's the same spirits that you interact with. I think, it I think it's closer to what I interact with. Be careful. <laughs> I feel like you say that at least once a week. <laughs> and I find us being less careful of anything. I understand the desire for caution and careful, but at the same time, taking no risks gets you no rewards. Are you referring to you shutting down my idea beforehand? <sighs> I'm not saying your idea was bad, but we need to be decisive. Before you, I was saying take a decisive action, but with others, which is funnily enough, what you decided to do with them, make a cohesive plan on what they can and cannot do and like actually group together. So you ended up doing what I, I said, but regardless of what you thought of my idea, if you want people to say things and actually have ideas, you need to be better about that. Because the way you approached it, Kat, you're aggressive, you know this. I don't need to be tactful. And that's okay. But if you have a firm opinion and you aren't going to take anything else, don't say you want something else. If there is a sound, logical argument for an alternative plan, I will be game. There was a sound, logical argument for what I said. For However, going after the second you, inquisition? I didn't say go after the second inquisition. That's what I'm saying, Kat, is you're so stuck on your idea that you don't listen to what other people are saying. Perhaps. And that's okay. If you want to do that, do that. Just don't pretend you're not doing that. Because that gets people nowhere. I've told all of you, you don't want me leading. Then let others lead. I'm happy to. I have stood Are back you? and let others try to step forward and they don't. 
And when they do, you get mad uh -uh. and tell them that their idea is illogical and that we're not going to do it. I don't always do that, Gwen. It. Just because I did that to you tonight doesn't mean I always do that. You can't have it both ways. And you... Just be mindful. That's all I'm saying. I don't care if yeah. you like my idea or not. Just be mindful. Yeah. Because in maybe be mindful think of about... your own shit, too. And you're manipulative you're as fuck. And she literally stands up and goes downstairs to the basement and cleans up the mess. Oh, the bodies are just ash with a few, not even bits of bone. The, the spirit managed to completely eradicate the bodies except for ash. Am I being manipulative there? I don't think I was being manipulative there. I didn't pick up that vibe. We need to find this Julie Marston. Um, of the, um, Rashawn would like to pull up his phone to check if there's been any Jane Doe's in the news or newspaper or anything like that from the time of that person's death. No, uh, no Jane Doe's, but knowing that there was a a private investigator. Uh, Considering that you're running a law firm, so you deal with some private investigators, you know the private investigator, but nothing else about it. I can look into it more now that I know what the threats are and why I haven't been getting the deals I've been. I think I might need to work with some PIs. And so I, maybe I'll find something out. But if you can find me her name, I may be able to find her soul. She's still hanging on. I... As much as I hate to admit it, I don't think we're going to be able to deal with the Inquisition anytime soon, which means we need to deal with the Sabbat quickly. As long as we get rid of something, I don't even care at this point. We can't have... We can have threats, but we can't have all of these big threats. Green. Well, at least we know what they're fighting over. I may be able to put some issues in the way. Legal challenges. Ideally, if I make myself enough of a target, they'll come to us. That idea I was talking about. <laughs> uh would also help. I mean, if I'm so good at manipulating, maybe I lean into that and fall into the blackmail and extortion route. And maybe I get information on them that helps or information on some of the people that support them. I don't know. Comfortable doing that? And I can't do my other side, I do my other business and I need to have resources somehow. Let me know if I can be of any support in that. The food trucks will help. Mm -hmm. And I think well, the continued intel gathering, uh, Athena's point, I <clears throat> fully agree with taking out the head, taking out important individuals, I feel is more important than spending resources to take out m more minor operatives in both organizations, the Sabat and the SI. Cat comes back up after she's cleaned up the ashes and says, Cause like, I completely agree. Our next target's going to be the train station, but I'm going to let Bella know. The HOA needs to know. We're going to have to go in guns blazing. Absolutely. 
because they are right. getting their people in. I know they're bringing people in from outside. The one I currently have on ice in the fucking morgue was brought in from outside. She was bound to somebody. Uh, and they can't do that here. Not without consequences. Do we want to have a twofold approach with that and do the brute force and limit resources? Obviously, if we can stop the rail that prevents reinforcements. Absolutely. And then we oh, go attack the cars they have stored well. there at the rail yard. I think we need to pick a target on their side as well. If the lupines aren't willing to interact with the dead or these unable, then limiting that as a resource would be beneficial. And dealing with your brother would be a blow. Dealing I think with we Becky need to focus on one of those. We have a few options. It might so be. Who, who do we want to deal with first? I don't know if we can decide yet or if we need to figure out which opportunities. I mean, playing on either, they're both good. And then whichever opportunity arises first, just be ready to take advantage of it. Exactly. Be prepared to move at any time. And don't forget Bo's input once he is able to give us that. I'm pretty sure... If I, th if I, if what I think happened, happened. And she looks to Rashad. He's going to be single-minded of purpose. And that may be a problem. Do we want to do it before he awakes then? Perhaps. Hang on. And she pulls out her phone and calls Bella. You get, uh, it takes it a bit. And Bella comes up on the other line. Uh, hey, cat, cat. You hear a thunk in the background. Uh, hang on, thunk. What are you doing? Kicking the shit out of this bag. What do you think I'm doing? Oh my God. Girl. What, hands free? Girl, get yourself something and get laid. Um, <laughs> I'm going to get something. I bet you are. Uh, and what was the name of the station, Storyteller? It's the uh, mm -hmm. Union Pacific has the Neff uh, Rail Yard. Union Pacific Rail Yard. A bunch of money's going in there. Uh, that's the, the Neff Rail Yard up there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That needs to be a target stat. I'll uh, get some members of the HOA to look at it. Maybe we can. Do a hostile takeover. Excellent. We'll pull our strings, too, to see what we can do. Yeah, I'll let the uh, president know and see what he has to say. Excellent. And fuck it. I'll even let the vice president know. I'd be more interested in what she has to say. And then she, she you hear her <laughs> chuckle. Girl, I know you would. <laughs> What's this I hear about you running around with Johnny? I just got to ask that question again. What? I'm just saying. I've been hearing rumors like that. Girl, I've been out of pocket for a week. I ain't running around with nobody. I'm just checking. I mean, I didn't know you and him were chummy. I know he showed up to that one fight, but... I mean, we get along. I mean, he likes to fucking hit things, and so do I. Watch out. He's a charmer. <sighs> like I haven't met those before. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> all I'm going to tell you, when he shows up in the van... Get in. Oh, have you done it? Maybe. <laughs> I get disconnects laughing maniacally. <laughs> okay, so Bella's going to let the HOA know about the rail yard. Oh. So. As for Mr. Solomon, if what he experienced, what he felt was even... A little more intense than what I saw. He may need a help. Help and with honestly, what? Exactly. I had no relation to the people 
in that vision, and I could feel the pain, the terror, watching, watching his family be embraced and tear each other apart. I don't think Master Solomon is going to recover from that easily. It is something that has turned many of us into monsters, and I don't want to see that happen to him. Well, somber tactics. Mm -hmm. Helen, you know him best. Maybe you'd be the best way to help him. When he does rouse, I think it may be best to just have a conversation with him. Let him speak or not. We need to see how he is oh, when he comes out of this. And Rashad, I can tell it was something because you are being very obtuse about it. I'm not going it to make cruel. you rip that open. I'm sure that was quite intense if you experienced it as well. But that is most certainly not Zamitsi tactics. That is Lasombra tactics. Well known within the Sabbat. I have recently gained a new ceremony. If we gain, if you can bring me the names of the people who've died, ideally members of the Inquisition that Mr. Solomon killed, if, if their souls still exist, we may be able to question them. That's good. That's good. Speaking of questioning, though, I think I'm going to go visit my prisoner of war. Do you want help or are you fine? Oh, I'm not going to actually question her. I'm going to drain her vitae. Okay. <laughs> if you'd like to are join, you? you can. But it's. I just figured since I was manipulative, I might be helpful. Oh, absolutely. You're helpful in an interrogation. Are you planning on drinking her? No. Not unless I find out certain things. If she would make me more useful in killing my brother, sure. And she just winks. I don't know when? the rules for the tower in Diablo, so... Be careful. What I have Maybe. learned over 20 years of being nominally affiliated with the tower is that so long as you don't get caught, you're fucking golden. She's probably a younger generation anyway. She probably is. That's what I'm going to try to find out. I might be able to find out who her sire was. That might help pinpoint me to where she came from. So I'll come watch. Excellent. Hmm. Well, gentlemen, I would offer the hospitality of my home, but I'm sure you have other things you would like to do this evening. Indeed. So, look. go ahead, Rashad. I said good luck. Okay. So as this coterie is splitting up, actually, I think this is actually a good time to end the episode. Uh, we did two weeks in a row of running all the way to three hours almost. So we're going to end this one here so that with our outro, we end about our normal time for once. It's a hell of an episode. Uh, they found out more information about that black site than they wanted to know. But if you're wanting to recruit some werewolves to help you out with something, uh, let their spirits get fucked with. And tell a glass, let a glass walker uh, get their fucking shit fucked with. Uh, neither of which goes over well with the lupine. I'd like to thank my players. XP tonight. 
you know, just because the guest player fucking broke my shit, I'm giving everybody three tonight. <laughs> I know you all didn't do it, but fuck it. Three for everybody. Let me make a note on my sheet because I've got I, one nice thing about this new version of Fantasy Grounds we finally updated to is it lets me track session XP. So I'm going to put that in my thing. Said how many? Three. Wow. Hey, that's a bonus XP that you got for doing nothing. For doing nothing. Did you see the drama we brought okay. to this table? <laughs> there was some good coterie drama tonight. That was sweet. You still only get three. Not giving you four. Come on now. Fuck you. That deserves four. Okay, well, fuck me is all y'all. Y'all fine with that. <laughs> <laughs> it was a hell of revelation, though. They know a place the Sabbat has been pouring money into, but money's not coming out. I'm sure they'll draw some conclusions from that one. There's a lot of reasons to pour money into something, but there's very few reasons the money wouldn't come back out. They found out a code name that the technocracy is trying to keep hidden for some reason. And of course, the technocracy itself. So I'd like to thank my viewers, the players, and of course, our special guests, Juni Von Ash and Maddox, the uh, two Lupine. Both, we had a Glasswalker and a Shadow Lord again. For those that don't know, I'm weaving a bit more of the splats than I usually do. But see, at least you're not fighting werewolves this time, right? That's an improvement. So please, everybody, join us on our Discord. And no, I'm not giving Gwen 70. Thank you, Beetle Spock. No. Uh, join us on the Discord. Uh, the cast of this show and the cast of all of our shows come directly from our Discord. And if you join our Discord, you may have a chance to play with us. You just watch for the casting calls and apply. But more than that, we've got a good community. Uh, just yesterday, we did a, a non-streamed community game of Blood on the Clock Tower. And we had uh, 12 people total, including myself, playing that. And everybody seemed to have a damn good time doing it. So... Uh, and it was non-streamed. It was just a chance to relax with your, your fellow Discord members. And we did a Zoom chat afterwards where we just sat and everyone talked shit about Maddox and had fun discussing things. So, you know, join the Discord. Trust me. Uh, we got a great community over there. If you want to catch back episodes, pop over to our YouTube. You can catch all the uh, Kansas City back episodes, the Windy City back episodes, Mage, Werewolf, our current Changeling. We're on season two right now. It's, it's running right now. Uh, you can catch those back episodes. Wraith, uh, if you want to get out of World of Darkness, because not everybody likes that. We've got Broken Tales, which is a great twisted fairy tale stream. Court of Blades, which is, you know, political maneuvering. Great system on that one. Uh, Zasser Kala, Mama Does Bluebeard's Brides. Nighthawks, uh, Monster of the Month, which is a Monster of the Week serial game. Jesus Christ, we've got so much content. And if you want to see Call of Cthulhu or D&D 5e, go to Ishvel's channel. Pop over, you will see Ree. Right down here. He's in the on the Ishvel channel in the Call of Cthulhu stream. So you definitely want to check that out. You want to get you some studio merch? Go to our merch store. That's Zazzle. Make sure you sign in. We've got some adult shit in there. Uh, there will be some other merch added at some point eventually. I know Junie is working on Uncle Oski. It'll get done when she gets it done. Look. And eventually I'll sit down and actually do just some straight text-based merch, but I just have not had the fucking yeah. spoon. But let's be fair. Uh, <laughs> Judy's doing it free to do an Uncle yeah. Oski. So when and she gets it done. It. So she, yeah. whenever she gets it done, there is She'll no get it done. rush. There's no pressure. Yeah, it's on her. <laughs> Look, if it's free shit she's doing for us, no timetable. No timetable. <laughs> That's how that works. Uh, you want to catch some amazing content creators, two of which right here. One of them re-rolls right down here. What you got going on, Ree? Um, uh, let's see. This Sunday, you can catch um, our D&D campaign where our party is going to descend into the underdark to see if they can investigate a certain man who's missing a hand and an eye. People who, who know D&D lore. I don't know. I used to run some fun things in the underdark. I used to have some fun with that shit. So back when I played D&D, &D, second edition. Gwen! What you got going on? You can find Gwen over at Mischievous Red, by the way, on our friends list. But what you got going on, Gwen? Yeah, so uh, on Sundays, I stream mini painting and now Final Fantasy, which is what we'll be doing this weekend because I got my friend addicted. Um, so, yeah, check that out. I played it. Rylan and I played it briefly. Uh, but 
MMOs and cycles for them, you know. Yeah. That's the thing. Uh, seriously, we put the friends in this every week. You should go check their channels out. Rerolls, if you're watching on Twitch, Mischievous Red. Uh, Ravnos Archon, he's our, our mage storyteller, and he plays uh, that asshole of a brother of cats who somehow did not get brought up a whole episode tonight, which is good. Oh, just briefly, and it was not really shit talking other than Cat doesn't really claim him. So, you know. <laughs> not yet. Don't worry, he'll come up more later. And of course, Junie Von Esch has her own channel. Uh, check her channel out too. So check all that out. Um, let's see. Now we've done all that. Now, Mama. Oh, no, you want to support the players. Bits and donations that go to the players, not to the studio. It's a way for you, the viewers, to give something to the players. Because look, we put effort into this. Uh, we There's costumes. There's, you know, time. Uh, we're having fun, but there's a lot of work behind the scenes for this. So if you want to give something to the players, that's your way to show this appreciation. Free, y'all. This so ain't free. We never sublock <laughs> anything. There's nothing, no content is ever locked behind a paywall. So uh we don't want people to give money if they don't have it because look, the economy's rough right now. Uh greedflation is a bitch. It's not inflation, it's greedflation. Yep. If companies are posting record fucking profits, it's not inflation. It's the companies gouging the fuck out of everybody. So uh, watch out for that. If you want to support the studio, you can subscribe here on Twitch. You can pop over to our coffee or you can go to our, our uh, YouTube page, like the video, comment on the video, subscribe to the channel. Those things drive up our viewership because it puts us higher in the search rankings and then more people watch our videos and we make a little bit more money. Trust me, not much. YouTube, uh, it's horrible per thousand views, but it is what it is. Uh, now my wife can give the schedule for this week. All right. So coming up over the next week, tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern, we have Call of Cthulhu 7E, London Esoteric Society. Re, will you be playing tomorrow? I will. Excellent. So you can catch Re tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern, along with your any and various other amazing investigators. <laughs> Ignatius got a whole new character to play. Yeah. 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 If you're on a Discord, Showtime Demon. He's on the Discord of Showtime Demon and in Twitch. But Yeah. 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 So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Join them with our amazing European GM, Dr. Tiss, as they go and do all the sus-ass shit, like read the books that should be burned and summon the elder things that should not be summoned and go insane and get, like, murdered. It's, 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 yeah, it's wild. So join them <laughs> tomorrow. And Wednesday. Cheese murder. Yeah, che che more cheese murders. More cheese murders. I want to see your any killed by fondue. Yes. <laughs> Death by fondue is a goal. It's a fondant. <laughs> no, fondue. <laughs> All right. And then on Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern, we have Changeling the Dreaming. Myself, Mischievous Red here. Ravnos Archon, Junie Von Esch, who you saw as a guest tonight, and Unconscious Celestial and Evie Eternal. Yeah, with Maddox as our storyteller, who you also saw tonight. 8 p.m. Eastern on Wednesday. Yo, this this second season of Changeling? Yeah, they're, it's fucked up, man. She got fucked last episode. Fucking hell. Maddox ripped my fucking heart out. Oh, my God. Put it on a platter in front of me and stabbed it. It was just beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I was so proud because I think of him like a son. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> so join us Wednesday, 8 p.m. as we pick up from really some fucked up shit um, in Changeling. And then, of course, we'll be back here on Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern with more drama in this coterie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Coterie drama is the best drama. <laughs> Tell this coterie just got slapped fucking together. I'm just saying. <laughs> I give it time. Eventually, maybe you will form will a good cohesive us. team, or half of you will be dead. Yeah, <laughs> I thought it had been coming along great. Then all of a sudden, cat comes out here swinging, and I'm just like, okay, I guess it's great. Oh, she's <laughs> not great. She's, she's a not uh, seeing what she expects to see from people. So she also just like, spent a week with Morel. Yeah, and so there's that some might have rubbed off on her a little bit. Old school Caldoon. Oh gonna shit! Say, I'm gonna say seriously, the old clan. Yeah, they are monsters of the highest order. 
and Kat is the new blood of the old clan. So, yeah, she's not going to get more pleasant with age. (laughs) And on that note, please, everybody, please. uh, First of all, take care of yourselves. Mental health, it's not a joke. It's not a laughing matter. I want you to check in on those around you. Make sure your friends are okay because a lot of people out there mask. They hide their mental illness very well. And they may not be okay even if you think they are. So reach out to them. Check in. Uh, especially if you haven't heard from them for a while, please do that. Uh, but if you suffer from mental health issues, like many of us do, myself included, uh, please reach out to your own support network. And I know a lot of people feel they can't. And if you feel you can't, in chats, a list of numbers, you can call or text 24 hours a day, seven days a week. There'll be a professional on the other end of the line to help you out. We see this every, we say this every week, and we're going to continue to say this every week because we want you to take care of yourself. And if you're not in the U.S., We know we have an international community around here. Or if you're watching this from YouTube, go to findahelpline.com. Put in the country you're located in, and you will find out the helplines for your country. Because mental health is health. And while it's okay to not be okay, we want you to get better. We want you to take care of yourselves. And there's no magic cure for mental health issues. Uh, But you can get help and and help cope with it and, and get through it. You know? And now I can turn it over to my lovely wife for her portion of the outro. And uh, uh, fuck the Tories. They all fucking got fucking racked got last fucking night. owned last night. <laughs> <laughs> they got racked hard last night. That's what we need to do here in America. If the fucking Brits can do it, we can fucking do it here. I'm just saying. <laughs> fucking turn out in November, y'all. Fucking turn out. But yeah. <laughs> Let that light a fire under your ass. But seriously, I'm on McSabber. I am a registered nurse. And while Kat can be an epic fucking bitch at times, I really try to be a very compassionate fucking humanitarian hum- human being. And I want you to take care of yourselves for real. I want you to take care of yourselves, not just mentally, but also physically, because the two really do work together. If one is not well, the other is going to follow. And truly take care of yourself. Make sure you're getting your physicals. Make sure you're getting your checkups. Go get checked out if something seems to be off. Um, You know, take your freaking meds, drink your water, get your vaccines, take care of your body. Because if you take care of that, Overall, your well-being will be improved. Your quality of life will be improved. So please take care of that. Do your fucking guards and colonoscopies looking at Shanky. Um, but yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go grab the box. Just shit right in the box and mail it to him. in the fucking box, okay? But yeah. <laughs> that poor box is about to get punished. <laughs> But seriously, take care of your body, too. They kind of are a complete package and kind of work together, okay? And also, yes, please, 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 please make sure you are registered to vote. If you are eligible to vote, make sure that you check your registration because Republican-run states are notorious for purging fucking voter rolls before an election. Um, Also, they will fucking switch parties on your fucking shit too. Sometimes it's just a clerical error. Sometimes it's intentional. You need to check your shit because voter suppression is fucking real, especially in urban centers within Republican fucking states. So please be aware of that and check your shit. Um, And then turn out in November because we have got to be, we got to deliver the death blow to the GOP. We have to because Project 2025 is fucking real. Yeah, if you don't know what Project 25, 2025 look is, shit look into that they shit. That's scary. That shit off their fucking website because it's getting them bad press now. Because it is, it is scary. fucking Hitler 2.0. Christo fascist yeah. shit in there. Fucking bullshit. And that's what the Republican Party's going for. So seriously, I know. I know. Look. And they want to cut I, military I, housing uh, fund or uh, yeah. funding and uh Oh. Uh, disabled vet funding. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Literally, people with disabilities, the elderly, fucking women, fucking birth control is on the chopping block. Um, Yeah. So basically, yeah, you can't have an abortion, but you also can't get birth control either. So guess yeah. what? Your women are going to be barefoot and fucking pregnant, whether they want to be or not. The and, yeah. We take care of the military party wanting to cut uh, uh, military housing budgets mm-hmm. and 
uh, disabled veterans budgets is fucking bullshit. Okay. Yeah. So I'm just saying, I'm saying it's real fucking important that people fucking vote in November. It's real fucking important. Okay. For real. For fucking real. I understand the apathy. I understand the frustration because we have a bought fucking government that is full of Zionist shills. Fuck them. I know. I know. Okay. I feel the rage. Fucking free Palestine every goddamn day. Okay. But for real, I get it. But we have to also worry about our fucking own land. And we have to worry about our own fucking people too. And we have to look at the most vulnerable people we know and vote accordingly to help them. Said with love. Yep. I do thank everyone for coming. Uh, Shanky's weaving all the splats in this season. Joy, good night, everybody.